Hi, Kathy Hedrick Anderson here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. What you're going to see here is me training horses off farm, working with horses and their owners that I've never met before. So a lot of times I'm working with problem horses. They won't get on the trailer. They're aggressive. Uh, turn their butts to their owners. Hard to catch. Um, and a lot of times I have to come up here. Uh, and then I make it come down here and it's nice and, and, and pretty. The reason I have to start up here is because I don't want to get hurt and many times horses have been lied to by their owners. Um, they'll ask them to move and then don't insist. The horse might turn their rear end to them. Um, and so I have to come off a little strong to begin with to keep myself safe. So I'm just pretty much speaking the horse's language, posturing. I might throw a kick at them, simulate a bite. Even if they're not aggressive, I just want them to know that I know how to communicate with them. Uh, imagine if you went to a foreign country and you didn't understand the language. People are talking to you, you're trying to talk to them, and there's no communication. Pretty soon you'd get frustrated, angry, um, and you just stop trying to communicate because nobody's listening to you, nobody's understanding you. So imagine uh, a good analogy that I like to give my clients is a bunny rabbit. If you've seen a bunny rabbit out in the field and then all of a sudden that bunny rabbit took off and chased a, a predator, chased a coyote, uh, you'd call somebody. You'd say, oh my god, that predator just ran after the coyote and the coyote turned tail and ran away. So a lot of times you'll see horses moving people's feet. And that's not natural. Uh, in the horse-human relationship, a horse should never move a human's feet. We don't yield to them. So if you have an aggressive animal and you yield to them, that's telling him he's the boss. Even if your animal's not aggressive, he might be uh, a sweetheart, but if you yield to his feet, then he can't trust you to keep him safe, okay? So, um, habla espanol, quieres algo para comer? Quieres papas fritas, carnitas, quieres algo para tomar. Jugo de naranja, uh, cerveza, it's too early for that. I don't speak Spanish, but I'm just trying to make a point. If I mutilated that language, I apologize. I learned a little bit in Southern California. But my point is, I wouldn't try to teach you in a foreign language. When I'm working with my clients, I'm speaking their language. I'm showing them, I'm demonstrating. A lot of times they still don't get it. And that's why I speak the horse's language at first. So um, some people get offended by that. The horses never do. Um, when they throw a kick at another horse, hide's missing, hair's missing, and sometimes a lot worse. So I'm no match for them. They outweigh me at a thousand pounds by at least 10 pounds. Um, so that's why I do what I do to keep safe. I don't have days or weeks or months to bond with them. Sometimes people say, oh, you should take your time and bond with them. People are at their wits end when they call me to travel out to their farm. So um, they need results. They need results right away, uh, tangible results and they need tools that they can put into practice and work with their animal because many times it's, I can't keep them anymore, I'm gonna get kicked out of my barn. Um, sometimes in extreme cases, the horse is gonna be put down if I don't fix it. So um, I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing. It's not videos aren't edited like some other trainers will edit and show the good parts or this is what you do if your horse won't do this. I'm actually working with horses on the spot and when you see them on my channel, you know, it's already happened. I sometimes don't know what's going to happen, okay? And so that's why I do what I do. I thank you for watching. If you came to my channel to pick up a tip or two, if you don't like it, there's plenty other channels that you can go visit. And uh, if you're a viewer, a new one or old one, I appreciate your uh, viewership and come back often and happy trails. So again, when she, when she backs, see she's feeling that she doesn't have to run all the way back and she's able to come up to the lighter pressure. But again, we're gonna shut this closer and then we're gonna shut it closer and, uh, and then it'll be harder for her, you know, shutting the back. I know, it's hard to read. This is what you said. Like, she actually...
Okay, so do it. it's something's gonna once she get, knows that she's not gonna get grabbed and that she has to come forward to this person. Yeah. Yeah. Like just and, and she really wants to come on. She doesn't want to I don't think she's trying to No, she's just uh, claustrophobic. But she loves her stuff. Yeah, man. She loves her stuff. Yeah, I wonder why, Mammy. Treats and. <laughs> you get to rest when you're in here hanging out. You don't have to keep doing the ramp over and over and doing the hokey pokey. Turning herself around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's what she does, all right. Such <laughs> a good girl. Okay. Back up. she wants to stay on. <laughs> That'll be her new stall, Mammy. <laughs> All right, let's go over the simulator. Your husband spent a lot of time making that rope on her face. Stay way out ahead of her. Now I want you to take her out to the right. Right and come right back in. Okay, eyes up. Walk way out ahead of her. I'm going to be doing this. Jump that breast bar that quick. There you go. Down. Yep. Good. Exhale. Butt bar. Girl. See, I don't know. We're gonna make it tighter. No, but I'm just saying, I really don't know. But this is this is good. She's a little nervous of it. This is good prep, and I'm watching you do your hands right, and watching your um your pressure on your hips. Back. And we need to have her to come forward, right? Back. When you back her off, back, pause. Back, I'm going to shank her. Back. Because I'm not going to shank her in there. When I do this, back up a step, right? Back. So when she's moving her feet, I don't keep asking her. So I let her move her feet and then ask again. Back. This is a great simulator um, in concrete, so it's mm. really stable, and she did get more nervous yeah. as it was tighter. So right here. Yeah. I let that rope slide through my hand just like the clip yeah. does. The clip from Smart Tie is what I'm using inside the trailer. And most people grab the horse's head when he starts rolling backwards, and it makes him panic even more. So loose line if she's going forward. Off to the side. If she goes off to the side, I, I let her in a straight line, so I'm not leaving. And then we're going to try self-loading for the first time. All right, back up. And also, I can, she's coming forward once I ask her, even though she was backing back. 
So Kathy's loading. We did a lot of work in here. And then at the simulator, yeah. look where you want her to go. Put that whip over her with her. Yeah. Flip your whip upside down. Tap, 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 catch her. Now just look again. Put on, step. Look. Tap. Pop her in the muzzle if she tries to crowd you. Yep, look where you want her to go. Rubber. Rubber with that whip. Spank. That's it. Rub. You got to guide her head a little more. Good girl. Tap. You want to use the other side of the whip to tap. The butt end. Wiggle the butt bar. No, just wiggle it. Good. All right. No, I want to do that. I don't want any pressure. Don't release until she gives you a step. Pick up your whip and just on the right side of her, bank her shoulder. Now release. You can put the whip down. Good girl. Go under. Show her her goodies. Good girl. Beautiful.